Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome. So today, uh, I have Kai with me. Kai is from Hawaii. Uh, so before we start, I'll just introduce myself and then we'll get started. So I am Apurva. I'm a neuro PT and owner of uh, Beyond Rehab. Beyond Rehab is a digital neuro rehab and wellness clinic offering specialized services for people with PD, uh, dystonia, and other movement disorders. Today, I'm with Kai. Kai is from Hawaii. She is a PD warrior and a passionate advocate for the PD community in her region. She actively supports and leads the Honolulu Support Group and also engages with the Hawaii uh, Parkinson's Association. Kai plays a key role in strengthening the Parkinson's community, empowering people with Parkinson's, connecting uh, the local community together. Welcome, Kai. Hi, Apurva. Thank you. Hi. I'm happy to be sure. here. Likewise. So Kai and I, we met uh, through the PD Power Up program. So Kai was one of the early participant of the PD Power Up program. It's a comprehensive pain management program. Uh, and wellness program. Program focuses on helping individuals uh, understand on ways to optimize their wellness routine, uh, more specifically Parkinson's wellness routine, and also of understand and uh, integrate the skills needed to better manage their pain. The program is done in a group setting, so it makes it unique. It gives uh, ample opportunities for individuals to learn from the clinician and also from the peer. So Kai uh, was sort of like last year around this time, she was a part of the program and she connected with people all across US and we had a great time together. So today Kai uh, is here with us to share her experience of learning, uh, engaging for four weeks and how we'll take it from there. Okay, great. So Kai, I'd like to give it to you and like to start with um, what was your first of all, like what was your motivation before you uh, enrolled um, to be a part of this program? Well, I, I wanted to join the program because I have various pain, both associated with PD and non-PD. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to learn how to not only manage my pain, but kind of more about pain. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing I knew before that was you have pain, you either uh, try and stay away from the pain by not doing certain things. And then sometimes medication can help. But those were the only two things I kind of thought that you could do with pain. And so I wanted to mm -hmm. kind of enhance my learning about, about it and kind of broaden my knowledge about what is pain, which, okay. which was very interesting to me. Yeah. Right. And how was your experience in the start of this program towards the end? Because the program was four weeks long and uh, it comprised of eight learning sessions, active learning sessions. It was really great because I thought at first, how am I going to fill four sessions with pain? Because I could say I have pain in my knee and then what do you do? But mm -hmm. what I learned was so much more. I, I, I think my biggest takeaway from it was learning about communicating what pain is and kind of dismantling mm -hmm. it into different categories um, mm -hmm. and really be able to communicate better on what my pain is to me. So aside of saying my knee is sore or my knee has pain, I was able to kind of break down specifically how my knee is sore at my knee, but how I feel emotionally about the pain, mm -hmm. uh, just looking at it from different angles. So that was a new experience right. for me. That was probably the biggest mm -hmm. takeaway that, that I got from it. Excellent. Like that's a great win because uh, we really need to start with understanding pain as an experience. It's yeah. not just about injury. So great yes. start. And yeah. how have you applied the skills learned during this program in your day-to-day -day life after well, the program? I try to kind of take those same tools of breaking it down, mm -hmm. of what is the problem, and then looking at it from different angles, and then coming up with a little plan of what I can do. I think you called it in the program flare management. And uh -huh. so, um, you know, if I'm having knee pain, trying to break it down, how I feel, what specifically is it? Are there specific physical things I can do? Is there mental things I can do? 
Can I distract myself? I just have like this whole little toolbox that I can tick off and use to help me manage the pain. And I feel I more, see. not in control of the pain itself, but I feel more mm -hmm. in control of how I'm going to react to the pain. Nice. And how have you seen your learning? Like initially when you was, when you were a part of this program, it might take more attention, more redirection from your end to follow those uh, techniques, apply those learnings. So since then and now, how do you see your le the learning curve? It, what's really great about that is sometimes when you have pain, you get discouraged very quickly that, mm -hmm. you know, it keeps you from doing things. But I think that it's changed my attitude where I feel more empowered, like I have more opportunities to try different things instead of like, oh, I have knee pain, so I can't do basically many things, but actually I can do many things. I just may have to adjust them, but in order to adjust them, I have to come up with a plan. So, mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of creative uh, and problem solving out there. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Nice. So what do you think of the role of these uh, structured self-management program for Parkinson's people? Like we have uh, ample of offerings of just in general, educating about the topic, learning about the topic. But now as we are moving forwards and advancing to the stage where we are engaging and actively learning, brainstorming and problem solving together. So what do you uh, like, how do you rate this uh, self-structured program and its role? I think it has a really good role because we fortunately now have many different ways we can engage with each other. In person, mm -hmm. of course, is a very important. But one of the takeaways that I got was because it was in a group setting, I was really able to learn a lot from the other people in the group that I would not have learned mm -hmm. if I was doing one-on-one -on -one with somebody else. So to hear their experiences every week and then for them to hear my experiences every mm -hmm. week really enhanced right. the learning. So I think there's a there's a real benefit to that. Nice. And uh, I've, I've learned about you and I've, we've been connected for a long time, so almost a year. So how do you like keep yourself motivated, actively enhancing, challenging yourself? Um, to do more, be a part of new programs. So what's your secret and advice um, to others? I think just being curious, curiosity really uh -huh. keeps me moving forward. There's so much to learn and things are always evolving in the PD world. So I want to know what's going on. I want to talk to people who have PD, which really motivates me uh, to learn from them and then take what I've mm -hmm. learned and share it with others. So it's just a real cycle. The more I learn, the more I want to learn. And the more people I meet, the more people I want to meet. So it's yeah. it's great. Yeah. One of the hardest things I think about having PD is you do get um, a sense of apathy on some things. Mm -hmm. And so you really have to sometimes push yourself to to do things. But you, when you do and you, you realize you get so much more back from engaging and so, um, yeah, I get I get way more back than I give for sure. Yeah, I see. I really admire the way you actively learn and you always like you are the like way you curiously drive things and seek for the new inputs, new insights. That's the way to go in general like this. Uh, active learning plays such a big role in managing care and helping enhance the well-being. And you are a great example of how to lead and how to do it together. Oh, thank you. With help from people like you in our community. Thank you. So one last question. So as people are understanding and learning the importance of these pain programs, more structured program targeted specifically for Parkinson's community, what advice do you have for them uh, who are in the midst of deciding and also have mm, like minimal pain presentation, but of looking to seek um, help? I would say just do it. Just do the program mm -hmm. because you're going to get so much more out of it. I think a, a really important thing is learning to communicate not only to others, but communicating with yourself about your PD is mm -hmm. probably one of the most important things we can have in our toolbox to manage our, our symptoms, both physical and mental. And so, mm -hmm. um, 
it's it has actually helped me with the communication portion in other ways outside of just pain because it's just a really good framework to uh to do in many things in life learning to mm -hmm. break things down say how you feel both emotionally as well as physically it's just communication really is what it is right. it's just learning to mm -hmm. communicate better yeah. So just do it, do it, do it, do it. You won't regret it. Nice. And have you seen any, like, uh, in regards to your health, have you seen any changes in your medication uh, intake, or like pain medication per se? I or learn more, not so much the pain medication, because I'm, that was actually another reason why I wanted to do it was because I'm more on the hesitant side to try more medication. So I always try and find mm -hmm. other ways first. And I so um, again, it's really just kind of opened my world as to looking at, at problems in a different way and trying to be a whole being, managing the whole being instead of just managing the pain itself. Amazing. Yeah, it, it's so lovely, like listening from you, understanding from your, your experience, how did it, this play a key role in helping you independently manage and uh, address your pain. Yeah, I'm I'm really, really thrilled. I didn't know, like I said in the beginning, how a program online was going to work. But like I said, I think there are many things that it kind of brings to the table with the group that it wouldn't have gotten otherwise. So I highly recommend it. Thank you. And you've been one of the biggest supporter of this program and you and I, we started discussing and with your support and Jerry's support, now we are able to get uh, grants from Parkinson's Foundation to offer this PD Power Up program for the Hawaiian Hawaii community. So it's a great win. Thank you yes. for supporting the program. And I really look forward that more people be a part of this and keep their learning and uh, advancement going. Yes, we're really thrilled to have uh, your help uh, and you being a part of our community is, is wonderful. It's, it's a Thank big you. community. We're a little island out here, a bunch of little uh -huh. islands. So it's great to be able to have our community expand to other places as well. So thank you too. Thank you. And it's exciting that with the virtual world, we can make it work now so easily. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's really, really a great pleasure to learn from you and from your journey. Uh, feel free to connect with Kai if you have, uh, if you are based in Hawaii and if you have any questions for her support group. Um, and if you have any questions for us, feel free to reach at beyondrehab.health. Uh, happy to connect with you and uh, stay in touch. Thank you so much. Thank you, Purva. Thank you.